Well, chemistry provides a different way of looking at the world. It's a bit like um, when you look at the world, you can enjoy it for what it is without thinking about what underlies it. Just like listening to a piece of music, you can enjoy it without understanding the, the structure of the piece of music. But if you're in the mood and you want to understand it at a deeper level, then understanding the structure of a piece of music gives you a deeper delight. Likewise, if you're looking at the world and you turn on your chemistry switch, then that too will give you a deeper delight into looking around. There's no getting away from, from it that chemistry relies upon some pretty bizarre ideas. I mean, it relies on ideas from quantum theory, which puts off a lot of people, and it relies a lot on thermodynamics, which puts off the other half of the people. So what I also try to do is to just lift the curtain sufficiently on both quantum theory and thermodynamics so that you can understand how chemists actually think. And I go, I try to go just far enough for you to understand that I'm treating the subject seriously, but not too deeply. And of course, chemists make the, uh, well, the, the main activity of chemists, of course, is Produce, uh, is performing chemical reactions where they're trying to induce atoms to change partners. You start with atoms in one arrangement and you want to get them into another arrangement. So what I try to share with you is what chemists are really doing when they stir their beakers and distill their fluids. All they're doing is encouraging atoms to exchange partners. And they do this in a variety of fascinating ways. And if you were to go into a modern chemistry laboratory, then although you still see items like test tubes, flasks and so on that would be recognisable to any alchemist from centuries ago, the laboratories now are really automated with lots of very sophisticated equipment. And what I try to do is also to share the way that chemists discover what they've made, confirm that they have made what they were hoping to make, and explore the nature of the world around them and the composition of materials.